South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford back in the news this morning. It turns out that having an affair is not the only problem he's dealing with. An investigation by the Associated Press finds that he failed to report 35 trips on private planes as required by state law. The AP found that Sanford, who took office in 2003, had not disclosed on state ethics forms or campaign reports who had paid for the travel as required by state law. Sanford has been trying to regroup after admitting to a year-long affair with an Argentinian woman. And then I apologize. And then I ask for your forgiveness. As for Jenny Sanford, the governor's estranged wife, she spoke out about the affair for the first time last week. Jenny Sanford says these affairs are almost like an addiction to alcohol or pornography. She's moved out of the governor's residence with her four children. She says it's up to her husband to decide if he wants to stay married. The ball is in his court. Joining us now for an exclusive interview this morning, two of Jenny Sanford's close friends, Marjorie Wentworth and Virginia Lane. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Let me begin with you, Virginia, uh, your friend of 20 years. You, you know her very well. How, first of all, just how is she doing? She's, she's doing as well as expected. She's just always had this amazing ability to focus when all these trials are going on around her and focus on what's right, what's wrong, and how to get to protecting her boys. And I know that well. she knew about this affair before it went public and, in fact, told you before we found out about it. Was she the same strong, resilient person back then that we see now when she initially learned of it? Yes, in, in many ways. Uh, she's, she's where all of us go through trials, and instead of um, sitting back, she stands tall, um, takes it with the confidence of self-awareness and, um, and a clear sense of right and wrong. Tell us about that conversation when she told you. It was heartbreaking. <laughs> Mark's the last person on the planet we thought mm. this would could happen. Were those her words, too? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What did she say to you about it? Well, Marjorie? everybody was shocked. I mean, um, and she, um, I mean, I think it was easier that she knew about it for months before it went public. And I think it would have played out differently had that not happened. Um, but. Again, the last person you'd ever expect this to happen to. I mean, they seemed like the perfect couple with beautiful children, and his star was rising politically, and um, so everybody was shocked. Not, you know, but she's doing great. We're here yeah. to say that she's really doing great. How did she find out about it? She found a letter. Yeah. Yeah. From her to him, him to her? I One or the other. I forget. <laughs> yeah. Who Co confronted him, and then, and then what happened? Did he not deny it? He didn't deny it, no. no. And in the months before we knew, what was the focus of their marriage in those months? Yeah, after, yeah, after she found out about the affair, before he, everybody healing, knew about and it. And she's, she's got this amazing capacity for forgiveness and, and very quickly said, I can mm -hmm. forgive adultery, but I cannot condone it um, regularly in a marriage. And I mean, that strength to be able to see that so quickly was mm -hmm. so, so great. for him to take that trip to Argentina after... Mm. They knew. Isn't that surprising? She had said, I don't condone it. And That's he correct. did. No, absolutely not. I mean, she, um, she did not know where he was. And, um, but they were, you know, in a trial separation, and she was back on Sullivan's Island with the boys. So how could she know? Yeah, that's right. Are you surprised that she was not like other political wives we have seen standing right there next to her man at that news conference, you know, playing the role surprised? of the good wife? No. No. no, no. I mean, that's the thing about this. If you know her like we do, everything about her behavior is not surprising. I mean, she's just... Uh, and she loves Mark and loves Mark's family. They're, mm -hmm. good, they're good people. It's just tragic that it's going on. And she's yeah. handling it with grace and dignity and she kindness really and love. Is. I think that um, a lot of people are wondering if she really believes that this marriage has a future. You two know her very well. What do you think? She's given it her best shot. She's given it her best. She wants to be able to, you know, look her kids in the eye, as she says, and um, know that she did everything she could to heal the marriage. And, you know, she's able to look at the big picture and uh, the whole sweep of her life. And if it's possible, she wants it to happen. Virginia, you are the godmother of, of one of her sons. Bolton. How are how the boys That's doing? Well, they've had to start a new school. Mm -hmm. In the last couple of weeks of summer, I had to do all that summer reading, all that summer math, but so, um, <laughs> moving into it nicely. How, mm -hmm. Do they know exactly what's going on? Yes. Yes. And what is their opinion of the situation or of they their father? They love their father. Yeah. Forgive? And their mother. I hope so. Mm -hmm. 
What do you think Jenny Sanford wants uh, everyone to take from her example, or does she not want to be a role model for the well, rock? That's, really the, that's the story, though, really, yeah. is that the, everybody goes through horrible times in their lives. And how do you handle it with grace and dignity and stand tall? No, I think she's, she's very aware now, we, we talked to her about it, that she has become a role model. I think it's, it's surprising, but on the other hand, she wants to share what she knows, and part of it is um, a capacity to, um, you know, maintain her self-esteem and um, her individuality within all this, and be true to herself and not change because of what's happening around her. And she's very grounded by, by faith and principles, so she has a framework in which she makes her decisions, and I think everybody has horrible things happen to them, and if we don't have that kind of um, structure to base our decisions on, it's tough, and she, she's shown what happens when you make decisions based on your own principles. Mm -hmm. And she has the support of two very good friends. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> Thank Archie you. Wentworth, Virginia Lane. Appreciate it. Thank you.